Hey y'all, it's your gracious hostess back again for another round of Mrs. Alucard's favorite book reviews. I know it's been a year since the last one. I feel really embarrassed about that, but I'm back again with another book. Uh, this time I took a chance to read The School for Good and Evil by Soman Chainani. If I mispronounce that, I feel so, so bad about it. Really sorry. If you guys can help me on his pronunciation of his last name, that would be great. Um, anyway, I found this book through the Science Fiction and Fantasy Book Club, just like I that's the same thing where I found The Night Circus. And at the time, I was really interested in reading it, and I wasn't able to find it, but fortunately... When I went to my library a while ago now, uh, they actually had a copy, so I managed to snag it and read it, and I read it in only two weeks. It was that good. So, let's just jump right into it. Okay, according to the summary, it says, This year, best friends Sophie and Agatha are about to discover where all the lost children go. The fabled school for good and evil where ordinary boys and girls are trained to be fairy tale heroes and villains. As the most beautiful girl in Gavilan, Sophie has dreamed of being kidnapped into an enchanted world her whole life, with her pink dresses, glass slippers, and devotions to good deeds she knows she'll earn top marks at the school for good and graduate a storybook princess. Meanwhile, Agatha, with her shapeless black frocks, wicked black cat, and dislike of nearly everyone, seems a natural fit for the school for evil. But when the two girls are swept into the endless woods, they find their fortunes reversed, and they'll quickly find out the only way out of a fairy tale is to live through it. Wow, can't beat a summary like that. If that doesn't make you want to read this book, I don't know what will. But, I also was shocked to find out that Netflix actually did a movie adaptation of it. I've had a lot of people tell me that it got negative reviews, so I'm not sure if I want to see it. But if, if any of you have seen it and want me to see it, please let me know in the comments section, and I'll do everything I can to go and see it. I think you guys will really like this book. It is totally different. It's a different slant on all the fairy tales that we've read growing up. Um, I think those of you who feel like outsiders, if you're like me, uh, you feel like nobody cares about you and respects you because you're different, I think you guys will really like Agatha. I know I did. Uh, she totally did not buy into the whole thing of, well, you have to wait for a man to come and save you. A woman can take care of herself. Sophie, on the other hand, just rubbed me the wrong way. She reminded me way, way, way too much of a lot of girls I went to school with. Not that you guys need to know about that part of my history. But anyway, um, a lot of people gave this book good reviews. The author of the Percy Jackson series thought it was great. Uh, he says, loved it. So, uh, reimagining the world of fairy tales and will make you question who is good and who is evil. Loved it. That was him. And then R.L. Stein of the Goosebumps series actually read this. Wow. Wonder it, how much time he had on his hands. He says, wow, from the very first sentence, you know, you're entering a thrilling world of strange fantasy, a wild and dangerous fairy tale bride. I love this book. Now, from what I understand, this book is suitable for ages 8 and up. This is according to the back of the book. But this book does get pretty dark. It gets pretty grim in areas. So if you want to read it and you're, you're that age group, I would ask your parents if they could read it first. Your parents know what's best for you guys, honest. But, that being said, 
I thought this book was really good. I think I'm going to go on ahead and read the second book. Uh, that's going to be A World Without Princes. So that will probably be the next book review. But that's it for me for now. So this is Mrs. Alucard signing off. See you in the next video.